Welcome to Mishnah study with Masechet Pea, Perek He, Mishnah Het. Over here, we're going to speak about a forgotten bundle on the way to its final destination. Right? So now we're going to speak about what is, right, is or is not considered shikha. So if a person forgot something, we're going to speak about when, at what point when he forgot it, is it considered a quote unquote forgotten bundle? so if someone is me'amer, me'amer literally means to gather. He gathers it to these kovaot. Kovaot are literally a, uh, we, you know, modern Hebrew has it translated as a hat. And Abam explains it more as a helmet that people would use. But it's really, you're gathering these two in, in piles, the shape of a helmet, right? Or lukumsot, right? Lukumesot are also uh, another type of, um, uh, well, this is over here is a, a pit, like some type of ditch in the ground, also like a little hole in the ground. Uh, Harambam learns it from the Pasuk, Pasuk and Ha'azinu, Halahu Kamus Imadi, right? So it's gathered, right, uh, you know, together. Uh, or La Harara, Harara literally means uh, it's like a cake. So it's more of that, uh, I would say, cylinder shape. That's what he's gathering towards. So he's gathering all the grains into these uh, piles. Or the Omarim, or the actual bundles themselves, and the Shiha, that's not considered Shiha. But from there, from these piles, you forgot it at these piles, and on its way to the Goren, right? The Goren itself is the threshing floor. So that's the place where uh, we'll say that's the Gemar Melacha, that's where everything is done. So you're taking it. You know, to the to to the that's in that case yesh lo shicha that is considered shicha, right? So basically, if you're taking it from the place of harvest to one of these, um, I would say, quote unquote, these places on the way, that's not considered shicha. You need to be taking it from the place wherever it was to its final destination. Its final destination of the shah, the threshing floor. If you forgot it from the second to last place before it got to its final destination, that's a case where you can you, you, you consider that you're considered as if you forgot the bundle and you're not allowed to go back and retrieve it. Um, and similarly, if a person is Amir Lagadish, right? Over here, he's, uh, he's, he's gathering it towards a pile. Again, over there, yesh lo shicha. Mimenu velagoren, en lo shicha. Right, so first taking you to the pile, right? So over here, that's the final destination, that 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 uh, final pile. So over there, yesh shicha, and from there on to to the to the goren en lo shicha. This is the klal. What's the klal? Kol ha'me'amel makom shu gmar melacha yesh lo shicha. If you take it to the place where it's the final area, right? So if this is the place where you're gathering all the smaller bundles and you're gonna make it into you know bigger bundles. Right, that's the final destination. That's yesh lo shicha, and then from there on, mimenu v'lagoren. From there on to the threshing floor, and lo shicha, because you already got to the final, you know, place, that final area, the place of gemar melacha. But let's say the makom she'enu gemar melacha, and and lo shicha. If you take it to a place where there's not the gemar melacha, you're just taking it to these little, you know, capsule. You want to, you know, pile them up in these little capsule areas in the shapes of helmets and whatnot. And lo shicha. But from there to the threshing floor, yesh lo shicha. Right, so it really depends on what the final destination is for each one. If the final destination is the threshing floor, then from there to the threshing floor would be the shikha. If the final destination would be the bundles itself, when you're making them the big bundles, then at that point, um, from there to the that that area would be the place of shikha. Um, and everything is pretty much clear. Zakhlal, this is the rule that will play out through all the laws of shikha.